Hey guys, it's Abby with Ray the Angel Books, and today I'm going to be babbling about the book We Were Liars by Tommy Wallach. More accurately, I'm just going to be babbling on how I hate this book because I do hate this book. I gave this book 370 pages of all of its awfulness. I devoted too much of my life to this and ended up giving it two stars. At this point, I kind of don't even want to give you a synopsis, not in like a mean way, but just because the reason I didn't like this book is it's like the classic like great concept, great idea, awful execution. So I mean like go out and read it if you want to like cry, but I'm not gonna recommend it to you and therefore I'm not even gonna give you synopsis because you might think it sounds cool and then you're gonna pick it up and suffer the same fate I did, so. So let's just get into why I hate this book. First off, good old Tommy Wallach's first mistake was his attempt to do like five point of views, like four or five or six, I don't really remember. Probably because they were all the same, so there's like no distinction between them. Now I do have a bit of a bias, like I already am not that big of a fan of multiple point of views, but this book was just awful. So I slowly started to hate all of the people in the book. Uh, first it was Peter, awful. Then it was Eliza, and then Andy, and finally I lasted to almost the end of the book with this one. I thought Anita and I were gonna be buddies, like I thought she was gonna be the redeeming quality of this book, and then near the end, oh, <laughs> I hated her too. But like, let's be real, like Eliza and Peter were the worst, like they ruined this book. Like. Maybe Anita could have saved it had they not been so unbelievably horrible. So you may be wondering, already, Abby, you literally hate this book. Like, you're literally just ranting and ranting and ranting about it. Like, how did it get two stars at all? First of all, I read this book a little while ago, and I was a little bit more lenient with my stars and my ratings than I am now. It was not quite yet the ruthless me I am now. And two, this book did have two redeeming qualities that I actually semi-enjoyed. Uh, first of all, it did make me think a little about, like, what would I be doing if they told me the world was gonna end? And second of all, it I did enjoy the blog that was going on the whole time. I just think it's like a very interesting idea and like that's the kind of thing that like appeals to my artsy fartsy soul. But now we're back to the bad. We're, we're done with the good stuff. That was uh, actually probably too much talking about the good stuff because this bug sucks. Okay, literally there was so much stereotyping and this, this didn't like annoy me as much as it just ticked me off because like the whole book was like rallied around this idea of like let's get rid of these stereotypes before the world ends and yet they were just ridden of stereotypes people just uh, accepted them more for these stereotypes but the stereotypes were there like these characters were walking stereotypes so like I understand if like the characters were like very much show these stereotypes in the beginning because like the idea behind it and then they like had a bunch of development but what do you know uh, no development in this story because I hated it I just feel like Tommy Wallach is a very planned writer. Um, I feel like there wasn't really a plot. I feel like it was just a bunch of teenagers who were like ridden by hormones and didn't really know what to do with their lives, especially now that it was ending. Ooh, plot twist. I feel like it was just a really lazy story. Like I feel like um, he thought of a good idea was going to do said good idea and then decided he didn't want to but you know I've already started so why not make a crap book? Like seriously like his world development, his character development, like nothing like ah! I feel like this book just could have been so much better if there was just a little bit more effort and a little bit less blandness. Like I feel like it had so much potential. Maybe that's why I don't like it. Maybe because it's not like I outright like hated the book. Like or the idea or like I disagreed with like principles of the book and therefore like I got enraged. I'm just like disappointed. Like I feel like there are some people who should not be writing for some people. Um, i.e. Tommy Wallach should not be writing for young adults. I feel like um, if he had chosen the adult genre maybe he could have made a better book but I feel like he doesn't understand young adults and young people and how we work as a collective group. So that kind of concludes my thoughts on this book. It was kind of just a rant overall. I feel like that wasn't really an in-depth discussion, which is funny because I'm talking about how Wallach is lazy, but here's me making a very bland discussion video. Overall though, um, I hope you enjoyed. If you also have read this book and also have these same thoughts or conflicting thoughts, I would love to have a little discussion in the comments below. As always, remember to give this video a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe, but of course only if you want to.
too, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.